Good mother, it's the fact that you have to really, really get towers. Uh, you have to yeah, get yeah. powers a, and I can do a very good lane pusher with that. Like mm -hmm. I get the first in five, six minutes yeah. and then. Yeah. And you need to take, you need to put pressure on that side of the map. You need to own that lane. You need to either force people to that lane. Or so there's two mm -hmm. things people can do. The people can either, you know, be forced to come and deal with you, in which case yeah. it's really hard to deal with the brood and you have to commit people and resources and money and all that, yeah. uh, which yeah. opens up space for the rest of the team. Or they can sort of like ignore the brood and they can go and. Uh, fuck up the rest of your team because they no guarantee the rest of the team is always 4v5 in which case mm -hmm. you really really have to take towers now if either of those two things goes wrong then you will lose the game immediately that's that's it you're screwed that nothing else is gonna happen and the problem these yes, days because the, i i don't spar the team when i need it to that yeah that's you problem. can't with broodmother you can't you actually can't yeah. if you start yeah. playing nature's profit it's a very very similar play style you're stronger in the off lane mm -hmm. and all that i don't know if, if you are going off lane or not but it's it's a very similar play style but the best thing is that you can actually join your team whenever they they need it and it's really uh -huh. strong in your bracket so um, yeah, I, I try to do some offlaning yeah. and, and some mixing stuff, uh, mm. and, and mostly even uh, uh, farming some some creeps that are some creep camps and, and stuff like that to to become more fast and, yeah. and to gather resources and trying to yeah. to be more active and, and fast when I play. Yeah. Uh, that's what do I'm you, trying to learn. Do you want to jump in? This game looks like you had plenty of okay. kills, plenty of kills, but you and still ended up. Yeah, you yeah. still ended up losing. Yes, two against an X one. Okay. Yeah. Really so do. X is a decent counter to Broodmother. Uh, one of the best yeah. counters, in fact, right next to LC. I think LC is actually uh, maybe a better counter. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, they're, they're oh, okay. You can't actually. Uh, LC is slightly better counter because you can almost guarantee every single time you're gonna get that. You know um dual win whereas with axe it, the only thing is you can still get a kill though uh so i mean that's also really good but mm -hmm. let's see with axe you can uh you can't, we can't actually download this one unfortunately so um let's jump into a different game oh, why let's see. i just looks like this one as well you got you got lots of kills so uh it's okay, like I I carry my team in my back a lot of times. Broodmother but... cannot carry its his team. That's the oh, that's the other issue. Like you will get a lot of kills, but you will not win yes. the game on your own. On yeah, your own. Yeah, that's what happened both clearly on this game. Like yeah, because you will like oh, Broodmother. No. Th this is the thing that I mentioned earlier. Like you will be either mm. making space for your team, in which yeah. case you're depending on your team to is... actually utilize that space. The problem is that your team cannot actually utilize their space because they are also 300 MMR and they don't know how to farm. Like yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be yeah, surprised if yeah, I'll be surprised if anybody a huge gets problem. Yes. Yeah, I'll be surprised if anybody gets more than 20 CS at 10 minutes in because if they get start yeah. getting more than 20 CS, they'll just get out of that this bracket right now. <laughs> yeah, that get, gets me a lot of frustration. Yeah. Um, so the other thing is that if you... The, the, the biggest thing is that we will pretty much see constant fighting, constant fighting, constant fighting. And that's the problem with this MMR, that people don't actually mm -hmm. farm too much. They're just fighting and... Um, picking a hero like Broodmother who can't fight, uh, you're just setting up for losses because you're not going to be able to mm -hmm. fight. You want to push. You want to make sure that your team, uh, that the teams are somewhere else fighting so that you can you can push. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's it's so much fighting that it's hard to like if you're okay. You will be pushing, right? And you mm -hmm, do push mm -hmm. relatively at an okay speed. But the thing is, if constantly teams are fighting and constantly it's 4v5 and constantly your team is dying and dying and dying and dying and dying, yeah. which is probably something that you will see very, very often. Um, mm -hmm. yes, very often. Yes. Um, uh, yes. you, you're going to lose the game. doesn't matter how, how, how much you're yeah. pushing or what a good yeah, job you're doing. Yeah. Secondly, no, it's, it's... the yeah, problem is that the team is sometimes they really screw it up. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, like, it's not the team's fault, though. 
if you're picking blood yeah. mother, then you can't really blame the team for losing fights because you're making mm -hmm. sure that they are fighting with a disadvantage because they're 45. Yes. You need That's them to be, yeah, you need them to be smart and understand that there's uh, we have a mm -hmm. blood mother. She's pushing. Yeah. We need to, if we take fights, we need to understand we're 4v5 and we need to play defensively in fights. We need to make sure we pull them back and back and back, not engage, not fully commit. Just like yep. keep them at bay and like not really take a fight. <laughs> the second thing is Broodmother in mid is not very strong. Uh, you don't want to play Broodmother in mm -hmm. mid lane. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, in your bracket, it really doesn't matter where you take your hero. But the thing is, you really don't want to end up having a dual lane. That's the main thing. And if mm -hmm. you can, uh, if you can avoid having a dual lane in mid, that's fine. If you can avoid it, yeah, in the I, lane, I really sometimes play the short lane. I, I stop when when I'm radiance or in bot when I'm dire. That, that's what I usually play. I don't know what people said that I I, I went to mid. That's not usually where I play. Uh, do you want to watch a different game or? No, no problem. Let's see what okay. I did here. Okay, so, so that, that's can... my 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 usual build. Mm. I, I try for the. Uh, uh, that's what I start with. Because, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the the problem with your build is that first of all, you don't have um, uh, buying a ring of region uh, with your starting gold is horrible value for money because all you're getting is literally two HP region per second. Mm -hmm. Two HP region mm -hmm. per second means that in one minute you are going to get 120 HP, right? Which is yep. equal to eating a set of tangos once. Mm -hmm. You see? Eating a set of tangos uh -huh. yeah, one, literally I, I once. I only it, bought, buy it because I, I'm, so I'm going to buy later the, the ring that gives me... Uh, uh, you know. I, I understand and I'm, I'm getting to that yeah. point. The, the thing is mm -hmm. like you will spend 125 gold to mm -hmm. buy an item which is going to uh, give you an equal amount of HP region for four minutes, right? For four mm -hmm. minutes, until the timer is four minutes, this ring of region is not yep. helping you at all, not even one bit, right? So okay. um, at four minutes is where you actually got the value for this. Now, um, yes. the thing is you are not really expecting to take too much damage in this lane, but if, mm -hmm. the, if the enemy team... Okay, they're not really going to get a Sentry Ward, so don't need to worry about that. But there is a chance that last hitting or something, and there's a melee hero, and you want to right-click him, you might get damaged. So you want to take a safety, um, you want to take a safety tangos regardless. Doesn't matter if you're in the off lane, doesn't matter in your mid, mid lane. Um, in the mid lane, what you can do is you can instead just go for a one or two fairy fires. That's it. That's mm -hmm. also fine. You don't need to get a full set of tangos. Just go for a fairy fire, which brings mm -hmm. us to the second point. You don't have a uh, you don't have right click damage. Now, problem with right click damage, you you have only forty seven right click damage for mm -hmm. to be able to actually uh, effectively last it. Uh, you need around fifty five to sixty damage, which is which is decent damage. So you really really need to start off with some right clicking damage. Now, if you have um, for example, if you have, let's say, a, a, what's it called, um, uh, Basilius, right? Basilius gives mm -hmm. you more mana region. Uh, Basilius gives you fantastic mana region. That's 0. 0.6 mana, mana region per second. You start off with, with a Basilius and two Fairy Fires. That means you have seven damage from Basilius and uh, four damage from this. So you have 11 damage. You end up having 58 damage, which is very, very nice. Now, if you look at Invoker, he's actually got 51 damage, right? So mm -hmm. if you if you have 57 damage, you can actually, if you practice a lot with Broodmother, which you should, which you do already, um, you should be able to get a lot of deny. Oh, shit. Uh, you should be able to get a lot of denies and a lot of last hits. Definitely mm -hmm. more than Invoker, if not like twice more than Invoker. Like easily you can get twice as many last hits and twice as many denies as Invoker. He you will be level mm -hmm. six by the time he's level four and then you will completely just crush him. Um yep. and, and you will just win the lane so easily. Uh, yep. sorry about this. Uh, I see. Yeah. Uh but because you don't have enough right click damage you are you are like you're really suffering. The uh, entire first wave you got one CS and the entire second wave you are gonna get 
Pussy. Okay, you got Pussy. So uh, out of eight creeps, you've got a total of three. And that's just not I, acceptable. I have to be, be better like that. Okay. Absolutely. And if you look okay. at it that way, um, let, let's see when you actually get this. Um, when you actually get you know, this. I tried to build uh, some spiders in the beginning because that improves a lot my my last hit uh, average when I when I get them because yeah. I have a lot of spiders attacking. Yeah. So. No, spider, like yeah. that. spiders will help. Uh, here we go. Okay, so you got the soul ring at two minutes yep. in. At two minutes in, you've got um, two minutes in, you've got about uh, two, uh, four, four, 16. So you've got 16 uh, creeps in the lane. Out of 16, mm -hmm. you've only got four creeps. Okay, that so should improve that. At the end of the day, if you had all 16 um that's 12 times 50 you would have had 600 gold right mm -hmm. so if you had actually started off with the items items that i would have uh, that i told you you'd have mm -hmm. uh you you had you could have had 600 more gold right now um mm -hmm. so it, that it's, that makes a huge difference right? yeah so and you would have had more you would have had mana region as well from the basilius um, so mm. you you didn't like it wouldn't really affect you that much from not having sold soldering for another like if you'd had 600 gold soldering costs 800 gold so another minute and you would have had soldering as well but the thing is mm -hmm. that you would have had more items you would have had a full basilius and you would have been higher level because you get more levels when you uh, you get more xp when you actually get the kill on, on the unit yes yes not to mention right here you could have killed the invoker as well but that's besides the point Mm -hmm. So it, this is really huge. Uh, yeah, I try a lot to not die too. So it was under under the the, the tower. So I try to yeah. avoid that. Like l l even with the even with the spider links, you're missing last hits. So yes, yes. You need to yes. improve your last hitting with the spiders. Make them as a full unit and control them all. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, and then the, that's that's where you feed. Feed them to the enemy. And I look, yeah. look at the, look at the gold difference. You are at twelve fifty. This guy is at foot. He's he's two hundred gold above you. Uh, mm -hmm. I bet his CS is amazing because because uh, <laughs> because uh, he got a lot of broodling kills. So anyway, yeah, this is not really ideal. <clears throat> and now you're coming to the point where now you have HP regen issues, right? Because mm -hmm. you, yes, you, yes, you you don't have any sort of HP regen. Like you've got this mm -hmm. HP regen, and you've got the um, four regen from the from the um, webs. But you know, you if you're constantly using soul ring, which you want to be constantly using soul ring. Eat, okay, that's something that you definitely should not be doing, where you don't actually. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, even if you have soul ring, you still need region because of exactly this. Because you want to use soul ring constantly, right? So mm -hmm. if you if you don't actually have enough region to sustain that, uh, then you're gonna like really really suffer like like right now. And right now you have you've made yourself um, in a position. You put yourself in a position where if this invoker or or this Ricky comes with a smoke. And one person, mm -hmm. like Invoker's already here, and Ricky comes with the smoke. Mm -hmm. They can kill you. They can quite easily mm -hmm. kill you. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, and you're not uh, really recognizing the. Uh, okay, you, know, you got that kill, but you could have gotten that kill a while ago, and you could have killed the Invoker as well. But I don't want to really get into that one. Okay. Uh, so this is the other issue with playing uh, Broodmother in the mid lane. You can't really mm -hmm. utilize the jungle. Like if you play mm -hmm. Broodmother, yes, yes. The, yeah, so you, you are guaranteed, yeah. So you, you're you losing out on farm potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, carrying on. So see, this is time that you're just sitting there not doing anything where you could have been in the jungle. So this is another reason why... Rude isn't yeah. exact. Oh, okay. So big mistakes. Few, yeah. few big mistakes you made. Um, mm. This was a good, good, good thing that you went on the invoker. But uh, okay.
He recognized that you can kill Invoker and then you went on him. That's very good. But the thing to recognize here is that you've got tons of Broodlings, right? So you mm -hmm. don't really need to be afraid of the tower at all. Because uh, all you need to do is right click on your Broodling and you yeah. will de aggro the tower. Yeah. The tower yeah. won't hit you, it'll hit one of your creeps. When you see yes. the invoker was here and he throws down the meatball, what you should have done is you should have ran in this direction immediately. Mm -hmm. You could have ran in this direction, you could have used Soul Ring, throw, thrown down another net, and you actually can't go up there because you took damage. Uh, you just go over there. How long is the damage actually? How long is that? Six seconds. So you go in this direction, you stand over here, you throw down web, you go around, and then that's it. You go you go around here. You don't need to worry about your... Uh, actually, I think most of your broodlings would have died anyway, so yes. I think it was just you. So you could have just walked up the cliff or something, but mm -hmm. definitely you, uh, should have, you should have just dodged the meatball this way, and you wouldn't have taken the tower damage. Second thing is, even if you were going to go that way, you need to get out of the... This is where it comes to not really knowing all the heroes, but to be honest, Invoker, I don't really expect you to know. You should have gone either in this direction or in this direction. You need to mm -hmm. not go... Not this the is the it. direction that you don't want to take. Right. Okay. So you actually took the full damage of it, and then because you yeah. didn't de-aggro the tower, well, actually, you were just still burning, so mm -hmm. uh, the spider okay. burned. All right. Another issue, um, not really utilizing the runes. When you play a mid-hero, uh, runes are really, really good, because if you get a, get a good rune, you get DD rune, you get an invis rune, you can go mm -hmm. and gank the side lane for free. Mm -hmm. You're going to have like a huge boost or something. And you, mm -hmm. it's it's a oh, wow that sounds right. It's an opportunity that you can uh, okay you know utilize. But when you're playing brood, obviously that's not going to be okay. possible. The dire might want to mine the top tower. Right, so we are just wasting a little bit of time, which wouldn't have happened if it was off me, of course. Right. Yeah, so right here, mana, right, like right here, you once again you had the chance to kill it and kill the invoker, but you didn't take that chance. Um, also, why yeah. are your treads on agility? Uh, because of the mana. Uh, you don't really care about the mana because you're getting soul ring. You've got a soul ring, mm -hmm. so you, you've got okay. all they the mana. They should be on strength. No, they they well. Um, the reasoning behind treads is you want to keep them on strength treads if you want some XP, HP. Uh, mm -hmm. You worry about being bursted down. In this game, you definitely worry about bursted down. There's an invoker, there's a lion, there's a Sven. So you want to keep mm -hmm. them on strength treads. Otherwise, you want to keep them on agility because it gives you more that DPS. Um, okay. Anyway, so right here, if you'd had, if you'd stretch, um, switched your treads to agility, uh, you could have quite easily, this was guaranteed a kill on Invoker, but I think you were afraid of his meatball, and you didn't really uh, think about the fact that he just... Yeah, he used... was going off the web and stuff like that, so I was, I was yeah, but kind of... You have another web, though. Yeah, yes, yes. So he would have been quite slowed down, because you had alt, so you had 100 mana for, so you had 116 mana, uh, 100 mana, you would have used alt, the... then you used soul ring. Uh, yes, yes. You, you use Soul Ring and you mm -hmm. get 150 more mana, so you yep. can use you can use Web, uh, and that's it. That's that he's dead. One more Web and he's dead. Yep. That's it. So. Sure. That's one hero that bugs yeah, me. Yeah, this lot. is this is bad. Uh, yeah, this was bad. You still got the kill. Okay. Um, you didn't really need your own hero to be chasing this guy. You should have just set your broodlings on him. Uh, mm -hmm. Still would have gotten a kill, especially because you're actually not doing any damage. Mm -hmm. you, you've got yeah, 62. Yeah, because he, he removed it, yes. Yeah, you've got 62 minus 112 damage. So you've got... Mm, yeah. You probably, when you hit him, you heal him. So, um, mm -hmm. And that's why you weren't really doing any damage to Ricky. Uh, also, going on a invis hero when you don't have any true sight, that was like once again it comes down to the fact that you don't play Ricky, so you don't know uh, how long his invis is. And you, you just died to him, just like that. Yeah, we have a, a ward, right? 
I yeah, but that's see. that's yep. his ward though, isn't it? It's, it's not your ward. Oh, wait. Oh, that's his. Right. Yeah, that's his ward, I think. I believe it's his ward, but I no, might be wrong. No, it's fine. It's green. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it is your ward. Uh, so what you've actually forgot is that he's got a blink. And he actually went oh, out of ward vision as well. Yeah. Like, Ricky, you can't kill Ricky with a, a sentry ward, right? You need a dust to be able to kill Ricky. Yes, and even yes. even even then, he's got ult to evade you for like a few seconds. Six mm -hmm. seconds. Yeah, yeah. Overall, so far, you haven't played too bad, poorly. Like, uh... <laughs> Yeah, but well, uh, that's not a nice point is where I have to improve on the, yeah, on the last piece. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> these wards... <laughs> <laughs> these wards don't make any sense to be very honest with you uh you need better mm. positioning on the wards because you nobody's coming to gank you from here this is already your lane so yeah. the way you need vision is you need vision here and you need mm -hmm. vision here uh mm. so uh, like these are very common ward spots on the high ground you could have warded there okay uh, so yes. it's a good job that you're getting wards and you understand you've played so much brood that you understand that you can't really push um yeah until what happened have... in a low low mmr game is that people get afraid of you know sometimes and they start buying wards and stuff like that so i, I put them there because maybe i'm, I'm afraid of being a uh, ward so i counter ward them a lot uh they they plant yeah, wards but... and i just get yeah, but... them easy. but i understand what you say yeah but all you need is a sentry in the lane you don't need observers that's what i'm talking about uh oh, observers sure. yeah, yeah yeah the observers are what you need here are, the sentries yeah yeah of course yes. sentries you need yeah. here because they might put sentries down mm -hmm. for you yeah yeah but, um, it's the observers that i was talking about yeah also culling blade uh really important on brood because most of your damage is right click damage Oof. Mm -hmm. Um, they yeah. start getting pissed off because they're dying and they just gank me. And <laughs> and also, Culling Blade helps you de ward because you can actually eat the ward with the Culling Blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Culling Blade is really important. Yeah, because now I'm trying to farm for a, an Orchid Malevolence or something like that because it gives me a surprise attack power. Yeah. Uh, this is what you don't want to be doing as a brood mother. Uh, once again, mm. uh, mid brood. This is why mid brood mother is not so good, uh, because mm. now you're actually pushing with your team. Now, when you're pushing mm -hmm. with your team, um, they've they've got ninety percent of the times the enemy is gonna have something to clear out your broodlings, and in this I game see. they've got plenty. And yeah. what when you are yeah, pushing, what, when you are pushing with your team then you the enemy team can come and defend and then they can just easily defend because because it's just one tower being pushed and that's it like all they need to do is just come over there and then that's it that's just defend mm -hmm. it uh, whereas if yep. you were pushing some other lane and these guys were pushing this lane then the enemy has to decide well what do we go and deal with brood or do we deal with this team and unless they mm -hmm. put more than two or three heroes on you to like right mm -hmm. now like this one guy came to defend or kill you or something. He can't with with just one person. He can't. They have to devote two people. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's what I try to do. I try to give them a hard time because they they, they try yeah, to. Yeah, but in in. in the mid lane you can't do that because the mid lane is easily accessible, and yes, yes. you really can't go anywhere with the mid. Like, look at your look at your nets right now. Look at your net. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like this is all like. You needed nets mm -hmm. around all around this area, right? so you can actually mm -hmm. farm the jungle. You can actually take occupy this. To be honest, mid don't just don't go mid. <laughs> it's it's yeah. uh, not ideal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually play the the, the short lane. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you know, see the guys bought two carriers. It was a not good game. Okay, so you've got uh, if you go back a little bit, um, you've got orchid. And you're trying to go on this guy and you didn't use Orchid for the entire duration? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah, I know. Because it was I was not on the key that I usually use. Okay. You, I used it on the C. So I probably pressed it, but it didn't go on. So I'm going to change it places in a few seconds when I realized that. Because it just got the Orchid and didn't rearrange it. Mm. Oh, you also need to improve your hotkeys. If you're saying it's on a C, then that it, yep. that that is not where an orchid should be. Your items should be. 
uh, it should be mm-hmm. on your yeah it, it should be on your either um, keyboard one two threes or somewhere on your mouse or something um, mm-hmm. but on a C it's it's uh, hotkeys are very important um, you okay. can watch Purge's video you know Purge right yeah yeah uh, you can go and watch Purge's video on hotkeys he actually made a two hour long video so that might help you a lot okay so now I moved it, you know. Yeah, uh, no, I realized that that's why I didn't use it, but I, I really tried. You going for BKB or Desolator? Uh, no, none of those. Uh, now I, I got. Um, let, let me just. Okay, so right here, you're not really pushing. So this is where this is where the Broodmother's weakness is. When you're not pushing, mm-hmm. you're losing the game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter how many kills you get because the, mm-hmm. the the fact of the matter is once this game gets to uh, thirty a minute thirty minutes plus thirty five minutes plus you're going to be a non factor. It doesn't matter what items you're making, you're going to be a non factor. Yes, yes, that happens. You know, yeah. So uh, you're not if you're not pushing, then you're not ending the game by that by the time that you're going to be a non factor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and, now I. I, I got the hammer and then i'm gonna get the electric <laughs> version of it and what? then after that i will build uh, a leaking sphere sometimes oh uh, maybe that, that yes yes then it gets yeah. like situational Mails- maelstorm need... is useless on brood because a maelstorm is useful for when you uh want to po- maelstrom is great against brood um because if there's a lot of spawns there's a lot of mm-hmm. units that the enemy team has to deal with, yeah. and they don't have That's, anything. Yeah, that one I kind of figured myself because I tried to just build, uh, do more damage, you know, yeah. if you have any suggestions. That's one, one question that I have. Yeah. How can so, I do to have some more power sometimes? Well, you need Desolator because, once again, okay. you're not really, you're not picking Brood to fight people. No, uh, no, no, right. You're push t- picking Brood to take towers, so uh, mm-hmm. Desolator will help you take towers, and Necronomicon is a great item. It will help you take towers. It will actually uh, increase the attack speed of all of your um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Broodlings, and you'll take the tower a lot faster. So, okay, Desolator. Desolator uh, you, and Necronomicon. I, I, I like the Orchid. Uh, you think I, I should get the Desolator after the Orchid? Yeah, I think it's very situational depending on the game. Like okay. uh, right now, you are not actually getting close to the tower. So uh, like, yeah. the, okay. this is the thing. Like it's going to be – this is exactly what I mean by mm-hmm. Brood being a bad pick because you can't yeah. push this tower until yes. the rest of your team actually pushes either this lane or this lane or does something. But the, all of them are yes, farming. Yes. If they're all yeah, farming, yeah. they are actually trying to delay the game That's to why pass. I hate public games. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it's not their fault. That's it's because you actually pick the hero that needs to yes. end the game in 30 minutes, whereas they mm-hmm. have this hero who needs to make the game go longer than 35 minutes. They've got this hero mm-hmm. who needs the game to go longer than 35 minutes. And they've got this hero who kind of uh, is okay either way. But these two heroes are useless until the game is late game. And you are yeah. useless if the game is late game. So really, mm-hmm. it's... The thing Not that you will pick. see, yeah, the thing that you will see very commonly in your brackets is that people are gonna pick uh, late game carries a lot, and people are gonna uh, people are gonna fight a lot, fight insanely a lot. Um, to be honest, in this game, you haven't seen tons and tons of fighting, but mm-hmm. there's gonna be obviously you you know what I'm talking about. There's gonna be lots and lots of fighting, but they're yeah. not gonna be ending the game like there's going to be fighting mm-hmm. but there's not going to be pushing nobody's going to try to end the game they're just going to be mm-hmm. fighting and then farming and farming so every game is pretty much like let's see and then most... someone gets lucky and end the game yeah yeah, yeah well, most of your games are most likely going to be well well yeah of course there's going to be these ones where somebody's just feeding or something and it's just uh looks like actually a normal game to be very honest i don't know how it ended at 21 yeah, I minutes i play a nice pair i try to do a lot of support and and do do a nice game that you know i played with four of my friends so when we play together it's it's better organized and we try to win a lot yeah okay you used orc at that time could have used orc here eventually you did use it i got two gems that's a game winning thing you also got two uh, 
four years. Yeah, and for the gems, I don't like to use them so much. I use Necronomicon when I need to have True Sight. Because they can't take that away from me. <laughs> yeah. But it's very expensive, so it's a late game. Okay, I can end the replay here. Um, mm -hmm. Your brood play isn't bad. Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's you've made some mistakes here and there um mm -hmm. but i can quite easily see the same stuff happening in the off lane uh with you rotating a little bit more to the jungle uh, mm -hmm. i can honestly i can honestly say your brood play is decent very very decent but the thing is you're just not gonna win a lot of brood games you know it's it yep. doesn't matter what mmr you are you're not gonna win brood games that's that's just yeah, pretty yeah. much it like even if you give a higher level mmr like you can give a 2k or 3k guy your account and tell him to keep playing Brood. He's gonna have a really hard time. I'll be very honest with you. It's gonna be yeah, tough because to... I think it's easy to counter Brood. That's what you said. You know, when it's you play not... a hero so much, you know him. Yeah, uh, but... if when I play against Brood, it happens in other games and stuff like that. I say, oh, okay, I'm gonna kill you so much, and I give the yeah. Brood mother a hard time because I play with them a lot and I understand what you mean. A lot. I think you're misunderstanding what my point is. I'm not. I'm not saying you, it's easy. Uh, it's easy to counter brood mother in the pick. Like it's not the axe or the legion commander. It's that. It's the playstyle. Uh, in yeah, fact, the playstyle. That's what yeah. I think. I don't play axe and I yeah. counter brood. Okay. Yeah. When when you when you pick a brood mother with an anti mage, you counter yourself. You just countered yourself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like right here, you you pick brood mother with an alchemist. Um, this is good because Alchemist wants to game, end the game quite early. Alchemist will get Alchemist needs the space that you create. Uh, this mm -hmm. game, this would this should have been a better game to watch instead of the one that we watched. Like, why did you actually lose this game? Uh, <laughs> but then again, but then again, this is why you lost the game because at 36 minutes in, you know, you expect holy, sh is this a support Alchemist? I don't know. I, I don't I'm not see. No, the it's a it's a mid alchemist. So this is it, here you go. This is why you cannot win games with Root Mother because you cannot carry the games. <laughs> now you you had an alchemist here. This alchemist, thirty six minutes in, he thirty six minutes in, he should have had like, you know, Everything. six items yeah. here. Holy shit! He yeah. should have had like six items here, and he's he has nothing. He's got an AC. That's it. That's all he has. Oh my god! This guy is so bad. Uh, yeah, that's so, what I want to so quit it, my job and grow pro and play games with people who play better. Yeah. And that, but I want to be better <laughs> about it. Yeah, but the, because <laughs> the thing is, like, it's it's playing brood mother. You can't do that. Like, this yeah, is the no, thing. Like, okay. Yeah, so I understood what it, I, I should change about my my playing style and what yeah. I should learn, and I'm gonna I'm gonna study. That's that's what yeah. got me better. That's what's gonna get me more better. Okay. Yeah.